hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone how to integrate the gis data shape files into the autocad uh, civil 3d directly so this is the integrated shape files i downloaded from an open source uh, so i will quickly show everyone on how to achieve this without going through a whole lot of uh, stress and uh, digitizing of it so you can just automate everything at a go so let's get started so i'm just going to close this and um, open a new work environment so this is a new work environment in the autocad uh, cp3d so you can use either the metric or the imperial anyone works fine so let's get started so um this is the uh shape file folder i downloaded from bb bike so here it is planet 4.5 and the rest of those ids and here is the shape file folder so the shape file folder contains all the uh, downloaded uh, shape file classes so i'm just going to integrate it into the autocad uh, cb3d so the first thing to do on your autocad is to come to the command line then you type map w space so map w space you click on that it will ask you to activate the tax pan you need to on it or off it so you click on the on option so it's going to bring out this window it can bring it out beside your two space or anywhere on your window so you click on data so on your data you navigate to connect to data you click on that so the default is going to be on add shp connection so you can also add your drone images from here adding the raster image however let's stick to the video on integrating the uh, shape file into the autocad environment so you select the option of add shp connection then you click on this folder icon here so you cannot navigate in case because I've been using it so it already lead me to the folder so you can navigate to where your folder the S3 shape file is a particular folder and I have it under my YouTube folder under the planet folder and you can see the shape file folder itself okay so you click and select on that then you click on OK then it is going to pop up the source file folder alright as you have actually chosen then you click on connect so automatically it is going to load up all the s3 shape file classes that you have inside of the folder then to check the ones of interest you can just single-handedly individually check that however i want to see all of these shape files loaded up in my autocad environment so what i will do is to click on this default icon so automatically it's going to select all of the shape files so when you are done selecting all of the shape file or any shape file class of interest you click on add to map in case you can't see this option you can click on the drop down arrow then you can see add to map you click on that automatically it is going to add all the layers and it's going to dictate the coordinate system that the shape file is on so if you can't see it on your work environment you click on the zoom extent icon so here it is and you can see it here so I have the shape files loaded up already automatically into my AutoCAD work environment however you may not know which class is which until you do one or two editing which I am going to show you as we forge ahead so basically that's what you have to do to integrate the shape file into the AutoCAD format so you can actually minimize this window and on your tax pan you can actually do the next editing so here I have waterways and it's showing green icon however my waterways is expected to be blue so you double click on the symbol of the waterways so it is going to bring out these options out for you so under style you click on the three dotted icon you can see it here showing green then you can come to the color and change it to blue and you click on apply and close so automatically it has changed my waterways that is the river or the stream within my study downloaded area okay that is blue then you can close the window 
then the next thing you can come to the road double click on the icon so i want my road to be from this orange to white so i'm just going to edit that by double clicking so under my style the same process come to color then i will choose the white color then click on apply then close so you can see any changes i am making under my tax span it is effective on my work environment so the railways i'm just going to leave it the way it is the points i'm going to leave it all that all right so you can as well change the point icon if you want to maybe to red all right so every other editing can be done okay so let me make this red apply and close also you can double click to change to add label if it has an attribute so you'll come to feature label icon here click on the three dotted icon click on add label come to test format under the use static click on that you will see the other attributes of the shape so you click on name all right then when you do that you can decrease the test height and uh, you can change the color maybe to white apply and close so i have points so i can actually check which of the points okay i have one here and you can see the label so this is okay baptist primary school all right so that is just one out of the features that has label for the points okay so also you can do other changes so this is for land use this is for buildings double click on buildings you can change the color click on this icon okay you can make this one the outline to be white the fill you can make it to be red so these are for the buildings so you see so you click on apply and close so, so you can see that has been effective so for the natural so this is actually for vegetation or some other green spaces i'll just change that to green automatically apply and close so basically that is how to integrate Shapefile into the AutoCAD work environment easily. So that is just it. So you can close all this. You can conduct any of your analysis, maybe to overlay into any other uh, base maps that you are working on and do other kind of mapping with it. So that is how to import and integrate Shapefile into the AutoCAD work environment directly. If you find this video helpful and informative, do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification to keep getting valuable tutorial freely. Thank you. See you in the next video.